Welcome, pilots! This video is part of my guide detailing every high security combat site. In most of these videos, you'll see me flying an assault frigate called the Ishkur. This is mainly because it's my favorite ship to fly, but it does perform reasonably well in the Garista's Gorilla Grounds. Combat signatures appear in your probe scanner window, and you must scan them down with probes before you can warp to them. Some combat signatures are referred to as DED rated sites. DED stands for the Directive Enforcement Department, an NPC corporation that is a division of Concord. Such combat sites are given a difficulty rating on a scale of 1 through 10. The Garista's Gorilla Grounds is a combat signature found in all systems with a security status of 0.8 and lower throughout Caldari space. While this site does tend to be dominated by more experienced pilots, it can still be good practice for younger pilots testing their PvE combat skills. It also has a decent potential for some great loot drops. Only up to cruiser class ships will be allowed into the site. The Garista's pirates, despite being an extremely modern and high-tech faction in their own right, often turn to old tactics to foil their Kyoderi Navy foes. The most common tactic is to launch a series of guerrilla raids, led by a dread Garista's Irregular, on numerous soft targets. State forces become harried and stretch thin, allowing the pirates to carry out their real objectives with minimal interference. This site's DED threat assessment is 3 of 10. You'll land directly on an acceleration gate, which you must activate to enter the first room of the site. In the first room, there are three separate groups of Garista's NPCs, each consisting of five frigates. The first group is way out in front of the next acceleration gate. The second group is a ways above the area between the landing beacon and the gate. The third group is a ways behind the gate. The acceleration gate is locked, requiring that all NPCs in the area be destroyed. So an entire Caldari station is a soft target? The DED needs to update its intel. The second room again has three separate groups of Garista's NPCs, each consisting of six frigates. The first group is up above, near a worker's quarters. The second group is off to the right, near a pair of Garista's refineries and a lookout structure. The third group is above the acceleration gate to the next room, near a destroyed industrial station. The acceleration gate is again locked, requiring that all NPCs in the area be destroyed. In the third room, you'll land near a pair of wreckages, surrounded by four separate groups of Garista's NPCs. All four groups consist of seven frigates, and will aggress you shortly after landing. The first two groups are slightly behind the landing beacon, with one group below and to the left, and the other group above and to the right. The second pair of groups are a ways ahead, similarly situated below and to the left, and above and to the right. The acceleration gate is once again locked, requiring that all NPCs in the area be destroyed. The point defense turret, however, can be ignored. The fourth room continues the trend of adding an extra group of targets, as you'll land amongst a series of radio telescopes. There are now five groups, each consisting of six or seven Garista's frigate NPCs. The entire room will aggress you shortly after landing. The first group is a ways behind the landing beacon and to the right. The second group is above and slightly behind your landing position. The final three groups are ahead, spaced fairly evenly to the left, straight ahead, and to the right. Another four point defense turrets surround the acceleration gate to the next room. The acceleration gate is predictably locked, requiring that all NPC ships in the area be destroyed. You have found the Dread Garista's Irregular and its support wing. Kill them all! The fifth and final room has five groups of Garista's NPCs. The first group is a ways off to the left, consisting of twelve frigates. The second group is to the right, near Garista's control tower, consisting of five frigates and a cruiser. The third group is ahead, on the other side of the Garista's control tower, consisting of another six frigates. The fourth group is ahead and to the left, consisting of six more frigates. The fifth group is furthest away, consisting of five frigates. Among this final group is the Dread Garista's Irregular. All NPCs besides the Irregular can be ignored. Destroying this ship will prompt a closing message. 
The Irregular has been eliminated. The state can focus its resources elsewhere. And you can focus on robbing the Irregular's wreckage of valuable prizes. The Irregular will always drop a 7th tier Overseer effects, and has a decent potential to drop one or more pithy A-type Dead Space modules, or a blueprint copy for a worm. A ship like the Ishker, fit with railguns, will run this site in about 13 to 14 minutes. Any ship with fast lock times or auto-targeting missiles can run this site quite quickly, with tactical destroyers or the Orthrus being the most efficient. Younger pilots looking to test themselves may want to try out a railgun fit MOA, or a caracal fit with rapid light missile launchers. While recording the footage for this video series, I scanned down 10 Garista's Gorilla Grounds sites. Over this period, four of the sites dropped something beyond the 7th tier Overseer effects. The best results were the pithy A-type small shield booster in one of the sites, and a single run blueprint copy for a worm in another. Either of these is pretty much exactly what you're hoping for. Stay tuned to Riley Entertainment for more EVE Online combat site guides. In high security Caldari space, you can also probe down other DED rated sites like the Pith Robux Asteroid Mining Site, Pith Merchant Depot, or Garista's Scout Outpost. The Garista's Hallucinogen Supply Waypoint can only be found in high security space through a lucky escalation from a Garista's Den. Other NPC pirates include Rogue Drones, the Serpentis, Angel Cartel, Blood Raiders, and Sancha's Nation. Throughout 2020, I completed my guide for the high security Serpentis combat sites. If you find yourself in Galent space, you can check out those videos right now. You can find all of my EVE Online content in the gaming section of my website over at RileyEntertainment.com. This includes sections that I'll be expanding upon in the coming months for high security combat sites, and the Cosmos missions and sites.